world, PDR coming at you here. Got my hat turned on backwards already so that we can analyze this dent. What we have here is a 2016 Honda Pilot. Super nice car for a super nice guy. And it has a really, I'd say a little bit larger than a 50 cent piece. Actually, if you look at the entire circumference of this dent, we're probably talking about four inches. But right through the body line, flattened it out, and it comes right up to the edge. If you looked at it super careful, you could see that there's a tiny chip in the paint right there and a tiny chip in the paint right here. So we're gonna avoid those two areas here and here with the glue pulling, but before taking the tail light out and accessing the interior of it, um, I'm just gonna stick a tab of glue on it and see how much I can move. We've got it at 58 degrees. So um, we're out in the elements, we're just, uh, kind of the way I normally always work, being out in the elements, but uh, halfway in a garage is kind of nice. So got the meditation music going on. Um, I'm going to grab one of these Keiko tabs. Hopefully you guys can hear us okay. We do have the microphone on. I should be adjusted properly. Um, I'm going to take this Keiko crease tab and go right through this line and give it a nice little pull on that line first. We got the heat, the glue gun heated up and I'm using the gray glue, which I do like the black plague, but now that it is winter time, due to humidity and temperature factors, this gray glue um, is more for the winter time and, oh, noob, and it works really well. So yeah, you guys get to see the reels on, on PDR. I make the mistake, we keep it in. Dropping the tab isn't a bad mistake, but if it would have fallen right on the glue, that would have been total noob. So now let's just give it a nice little yank. It needs a little bit of metal. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Um, I honestly planned about an hour for this dent, so I know that we won't be able to keep you in for the whole thing, especially if we have to take the tail light out and get in there behind it. But that actually moved some metal. Let's just try the exact same thing about half of a pump of glue. And I honestly didn't even prep this surface with alcohol yet, which is another kind of new move, but uh, we will see. Yeah, let's prep the surface by going like that. And glue can you do just yeah, it's moving, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, we had a little phone call there. And uh, now that I've gotten a little bit of that to move, I think what I am going to do this time is come through with a pull right on this bottom edge. Oh, and I'm going to spin my hat around for you. And come through on this bottom edge. I didn't really push on it that hard. And I might even use the lifter. Come up underneath. Come across this line. And uh, if you notice, guys, I stopped pulling. Um, a lot of that moved. So. I didn't give it a full on snap like I kind of wanted to, but uh, you don't want to if you know it's going to pull high. So um, I'd rather take my time, make a couple more really nice proper pushes, then give it a big yank and then spend the next 20 minutes beating it down. So that's just a little kind of experience, life lesson. A lot of it moved, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, customer's watching what we're doing here and he's pretty happy about that pull. Now let's, I think what we got to do is do the same thing along this bottom body line. Maybe a little one up here with the uh, gangrenes. I can even hit one of those gangrenes up top right here right now because if we're looking at this angle, you can see it. It makes a little V right through here and then the rest of it lies down here. So let's get that tiny little top up here right there. And that's going to make a nice pull. I don't want to super snap it. I'm just going to kind of give it tappies. Ah. 
the lifter seemed to move the metal more because the uh, plus it was a little larger of a tab too. So let's do that same thing. We're making a mess. I've got glue all over the place, but I always clean up my stuff. And uh, at this point in the video is when I'm going to say I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on this video. I really do. Um, if you won't, if you don't mind uh, hitting the subscribe button. Um, we sure like that. We love to see the community grow. Gosh, what am I looking at, guys? Is it there that I want to pull? I think so. It's there, there. But before we do anything like that, we're going to need to make those caps. Because as experience has proven in this business, when you have a, a ridge such as this little guy right here, if I made a pull right here, it might tighten up that ridge. So what we want to do is break that ridge down. And I don't know how, how long we are in, but like I said, uh, we probably won't be able to keep you guys in for this whole entire thing. Um, I'm probably, I don't know if wifey's going to do any speedy or not. Um, but now let's give like a half of a pump and come from the bottom up. And since this lifter is working so darn good, let's use the lifter. Give it a nice snap. That moved metal. That moved metal, ladies and gents. So here is where the the results start showing up. Yeah, we got a couple more pulls, pulls to make. We got one up on top here. Um, and honestly, guys, I don't think I'm gonna need to take out the tail light. I think I'm gonna just keep on at it. We might go to a little bit of speedy. I might take a little coffee break. But uh, all in all, when we come back to you, we should have an end result. And then I think we might even have a little bonus dent on the other side that we can just knock out real quick. It's a little round one that's your average normal door ding. And as I always say, guys, I, uh, I couldn't do a dent like this and then leave a little tiny dent on the other side. That would be just crazy. So whether or not it was in the bid, it just gets done by me because I'm the kind of person that likes to go the extra mile. So I really appreciate everybody that, that clicked on this once again. Um, we're going to transition into some more work here, and you guys can see a little bit better view of what I'm doing with the Speedy, and then we will come back to you and show you the end result in just a bit. Okay guys, here's what we ended up with. Uh, I've got my board on the other side. It does have a little wave at the bottom. I've showed it to the customer and he's super happy with the, the result. Um, basically, we're talking about the difference between a dent and no dent. Uh, what is that? That's a little scuff. Um, little tiny white mark in it. There's nothing I can do about that. I told the customer if he has the touch up paint, we can spot that one little spot in. Other than that, I just, uh, that's, basically all we're left with a little wave and that little tiny chip so I think this one came out really nice like I said we do have a bonus dent to do because hey here's the way I am I'm the kind of guy that if you have a dent like that and I do it and then there's a little tiny dent like this I can't leave that so here's what we're talking about we got a little guy right there and a little tiny one above it and I got Bertha on the ground right here the access that I'm going to use is right through the grommet. So 
Uh, no heat, nothing, end of a here. And now if you guys see where my tip is, I'm going to start at the top one. I might have to turn my head around for you. Put my chin right on the car here. And let's find my spot. Okay, this is almost a one pusher, this little guy up top here. There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's fourth push on that one. It's coming out. I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a, a finite work on an actual door ding because we have one that we can show. So that little top one is out. It's just basically a piece of orange peel now. Uh, one more push on it, why not? Just for pickiness sake. Uh, that's right there, that's a tough one to see. Now that one's, yeah, that one's pretty much out. Let's move down to this one. I'm gonna use the fog. I'm sure you guys are on the lines. And dialing in. Some slow pushes. And maybe it's got a little tiny tug there. I'll grab the, the taffy and tap that down. But other than that, that's uh, pretty much going to be invisible when I take the board off. Yeah, really hard to even find that little tappy. I think it was right around here somewhere so right on guys um if you guys like the video um show us you liked it by hitting us with the thumbs up sharing it on your social medias we're on all of them we're on uh linkedin and uh oh and make sure you comment we love to see those comments um three dance done in one video other than that i'll just say the thing this has been pdr and i'm out peace <laughs>